Hey guys, how's everybody doing? I've uh, got a small shop, so we've reverted to uh, how every skate tape you've ever seen from the 90s was filmed. It doesn't look fisheye anyway, right? It's, it's, it's cool. Don't worry about it. Um, making some bodies. Open this up. We got the epic, not the new anymore because this came out with a new one, the epic um, backup. It's a two inch core shot swim bait. You shoot your bodies and then you take the uh, rods out, put the bodies back in, and shoot your core and your tail. We're gonna throw some of these through real quick. I'm doing a uh, building some inventory for the website, so I'm doing the colors that look good. This is a bass. It's just uh, I don't know why I keep talking. Baby bass and some small blue flake. Got a little injector. You don't need nothing big with a small mold like that. Suck up the plastic saw. Purge any air out of the injector, it's always important. Put it on. Give her a squeeze till she stops and count. I like to give it a twist and sometimes even a little scoop. Even um, when it shouldn't, I have a bad problem with the spoon coming out with the injector. Bring our injector back up. A little shop tip, um, especially when you're doing lots of shoots. I put a rag, I'm actually making some out of moving blankets, but uh, put a rag over your plastisol, hold your temperature a little bit higher so it's not as set up when you go to reheat it to shoot your second mold. We're gonna let this sit up for a minute and then we'll check out how it looks when it's done. Okay, it's been a few minutes. Not many, I mean, it's, it's also only 58 degrees in here. So it's been about five or six minutes. We're gonna open this up and um, so what I like to do is I'll shoot a bunch of bodies um, and with these you pull your rods out I like to shoot a bunch of bodies excuse me even um I'm working on a order right now with three different orders and each person had chartreuse cores in their order so shot all the bodies and then went back and was able to shoot all the cores instead of having to keep heating and reheating the plastic salt. Um, I like to do as the least amount of heats as possible. That way you maintain good color consistency across the entire batch of baits. Otherwise, um, you know, more shooting, uh, glitter burns out, um, color fades a little bit, and you could have a noticeably different bait at the end than you're in your last run than your first run if you're like me like I only have one of these molds so if somebody wants 900 of these I'm like shooting a lot but there it is um and then we'll hang these bad boys up and then once you get done you get into your tails um you put the mold back together without the rods, you put your bodies in, and then you shoot your tail, and it comes out like that. This is a laminatable bait, like this one right here. It's got a solid, or it's got a blue bot belly, but it's got a blue and black top, chartreuse core. Um, yeah, so you can laminate it and do the core shots, which I think is pretty sweet. It's a neat little mold. I like it, as you can see, uh, we've been shooting quite a few of them. I love it. We do a lot of crappie and pan fishing here. And besides that, man, I've caught more than one 30 plus inch carp on a two inch bait. Um, I catch catfish, bass, large, small rock, uh, six or seven different species where we fish at on two inch baits. I've always got a crappie rod. I've always got a 360 box full of some kind of two inch bait, usually a paddle tail and something, um, I don't have any ice spikes out here, but something um, with a straight tail, like an ice spike or a Bobby Garland, baby shad or something like that. But yeah, so we're gonna, we're gonna put this bad boy back together. And like I said, because it's so cold out here, it's still, it, it's solidified. But like I said, it's snowing outside and my door's open. So 
Hit it up and keep on going. But we're gonna make a little video. We're gonna try out our new rig. We've got a mount set up here on top of the uh, shelf and fish eyes so that we can film right down under our area and hopefully do some pretty neat um, bait making videos for you guys if you're into that. If you are, give a like and subscribe to our channel. We're gonna be trying to do a lot more of these. Um, sometimes forget to throw the camera up here. We're a, a one take kind of filmer so if it's some of them are gonna suck because I don't do the editing thing but I'm putting them up there hope you guys enjoy it hopefully uh you learned something and I learned something and yeah comment